Welcome to Thrifty Garage. In today's video, we're going to repair a light that I installed previously. This light is one of the highest viewed videos on my channel, and a couple weeks ago it started malfunctioning, so today we're going to fix that. The first step in this repair process is the diagnostics. Obviously, I've already done that. The next step is obtaining the repair components. Now that I have all of those items, I can begin by removing this fixture. Before I do that, I want to flip the breaker off. Now that I've got the breaker flipped off, I can loosen these screws that are holding it to the ceiling. To do that, I'm gonna use my Leatherman pliers. Now that I've loosened all these screws, I can now slide this unit. And it'll come down from the ceiling. Now we can have access to that wiring. So behind here we've got two wiring nuts. I can now remove both of those. And pull this unit down from the ceiling. To make this repair easier, I've brought this onto the workbench. Here we've got that new unit sitting next to the old unit. So we've got a couple screws that need to be removed. And then we just need to plumb the wires to the back side. We've got two screws that hold the driver in, so we'll remove those. We'll go ahead and snip this red and black wire purple and gray which are for the dimmer. So we can go ahead and pull that purple and gray through as well as the red and black. Now this unit's completely disattached. Maybe after we're done we'll have to tear this apart and see what's inside. So we can run the new purple and gray wire through and then same with the black and white and then we will have to reconnect the black and red. Wire nuts back on these. Okay, I've got a couple of wire nuts that should work well. And then we can just strip these wires. We'll go black to black and red to red. I always want to make sure that I line up the ends of those wires together so they go into that wire nut together. I'm more likely to get a better connection that way and they won't come loose. Double check. Maybe I'll get a zip tie and tie that in. Okay, that wraps up the installation of the driver. Now we can go install this back on the ceiling. Okay, here we've got a look of those existing wires. We've got the black and the white. This is a very old home, so I do not have a ground screw, so I did not have that connected previously, nor am I gonna connect that now. Okay, one wire is done. We're all wired up. Okay, now that we've got both wires installed, we can tuck this in. And then put this up in the ceiling. It's definitely a good idea to have two people for this process. Okay, now for the moment of truth, let's flip on the breaker, turn on the switch. Breaker on. Light on. We'll go ahead and install that cover now. My wife sure will be happy to have this finished now. There we go. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. Please like, comment, and subscribe. So why don't we uh, pull this apart and see what's inside. Not sure if this is supposed to be a big old heat sink or what. We've got some coils in here. I'm not sure all the special vocabulary for all these components, but hard to see exactly what's going on. It's all uh, covered by this rubber coating. Well, there we go. Okay, we pulled up that big block in here. Okay. 
Well, I'll wrap up this thrifty garage video. Thanks for watching.